In this video, I'm going to show you how to create consistent styles in Midjourney in a quickly and easily understandable way. In the end of this video, you will be able to create multiple images in the exact style you want for your own personal projects or movies. Let's get started. Um, first thing we need to do is of course opening Midjourney again, then just navigate to the text field we have on the bottom. And then actually what we want to do is first to set the settings for our style ref, which we need later, because with not the latest version, it will be not that easy to have the latest features implemented that we have, which makes it so easy now to have it now in Midjourney to create those consistent styles. So actually first thing which we need to do is type in in the bottom of the text field is like to set it to slash settings. Once we type that in, you can just hit enter on the keyboard and then it will instantly come up with the different settings you have here. So first of all, we need to choose our model here, which is the most important part. So this will be version six, uh, the alpha version. So set, uh, make sure to set this to the latest one. Otherwise, you can also set here different styles and so on, but we don't care for this for now. Um, what we want to do now is actually to create those consistent styles. And guys, I can promise you this is amazing. Like, it's mind blowing what it can do already um, that we have consistent styles. So if you're planning a project or something or a movie, you want to have it in the same kind of looks for different sequences and so on. And now we can do this quite easily. Get this party started. So, what do we need to do for this? Uh, it's quite easy. So first thing we need to do is uh, dragging some images that we want to have for the style. So what we can do is uh, just going into a folder and I pre-selected some images here already. So we have one image which is, which is from the Wes Anderson movie. This is just a screenshot. It's uh, mainly really just about the style and the color. So I chose this one and then we can see what we get from this. So um, afterwards, we I also get this image, which is uh, yeah uh, also mainly just about the color. The uh, colors. This is like the orange teal look that you see a lot in cinematography and so on. That we also use a lot of, on visual effects and CGI. And then lastly, we also have an image by Evgeny Lushpin, which we can use. Uh, I know it's quite a small resolution, but it doesn't matter for now. We only simply want the um, painting style that he has. Go check him out for sure. It's amazing what kind of images he has, especially as a nice San Francisco images as well. But you can also check out on my channel in the background. So um, yeah just as a side note. Actually, what we want to do is now to just drag them in here in the text field. You can just drag them in and then press enter and then you see, okay, we have them already here. We do the same for the other two images. We just select them and drag them in, hit enter, hit enter again. And we see, okay, we have those three images now. So now what we can do is uh, just type in a prompt, of course, like always. So like always we start with slash slash imagine, uh, hit enter again, and then we see, okay, we can have a new prompt here. As the first prompt, I decided just something random. I mean, it can be anything. Uh, let's say Spider-Man uh, sits in a coffee shop. <laughs> so as you can see, this is super random right now, but let's say in a coffee shop uh, and it's actually ordering a drink. So yeah, so we can just send this, but the difference what we would uh, what we want to do now is actually uh choosing the new style that we need to do here to have the consistent style then of our image in the front because when i send this now we have to wait a little bit let's skip it five hours later so now we are actually back and we can see okay we have some nice images here i mean they already look quite the same i would say but we want to have it more precise that we really have to control over it so how we can do this is now to um, type in the same prompt again. And then uh, the only difference is now you already see, okay, we have minus minus version six here for the latest. So you can also always recheck here that it's fine. And then we can just go minus minus S ref, which is uh, no new. And this is making all the difference now because now we can basically type in SS ref as a minus minus s ref but before that we will also type in minus minus a r 16 to 9 don't get confused by this this is uh, just the aspect ratio of the image 
so that we have it uh, wider than, than uh, high. So actually we have it in a YouTube format, for example. So afterwards we just type in minus minus s ref and now the important part comes, you need to hit space. That's really uh, important because otherwise mid journey will error. So we need to have a space in between to, to make it work. And then you can simply drag one of those images in here. So I will take this one, for example, and then just drag it here into the text field. And then we see, okay, we have here our space, which is important. And then we can just send it and wait. <laughs> and now, okay, we are back. And now look at this. I mean, it's a bit more stylized than before this for sure, but we can also control the style here. Um, but actually look at this, like from the colors and everything, this is now much more in direction we want to go. And we can use this for anything. I mean, we can, uh, we can use this images also in other prompts. Let's say for example, a woman sits in a cafe, in a coffee shop again. Yeah, I like coffee shops, I know. Coffee, 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 coffee. And uh, is uh, watching her son play. And then uh, we go again, minus, minus, AR, 16 to 9 first. And then otherwise we go to minus, minus, S ref this time again. And then we just drag same images again here. Hit enter, let it process. All right, so now it's done again. And uh, we see, of course, there is a slight difference for sure. <laughs> I mean, in color, but we see we get this kind of same style, which is nice for like storyboards, etc., where we just go into the same direction, like from the setting wise. We can also combine images, which is uh, even nicer that we take multiple images from a movie or something like this, and then just drag them in again and again. And you can see, okay, um, in this direction we want to go look wise. I will do actually one more example to show you the drastic difference it can make from image wise. So uh, let's do for example as well, cat looks grumpy into the camera. So something super normal, like always. <laughs> and uh, then we will go again, AR 16 to nine and minus minus s ref and what we can do now is uh, drag another image in here so that we have again the space and then let it process again <laughs> and now it's done and uh, i mean look at this it's uh, crazy what it can do already and <laughs> it also looks kind of funny i, I think it's an, a bit inspired by grumpy cat right a little bit at least uh, that's what I think. I want to show you now also one uh, final thing, which is super nice. Like I already talked about like combining images. So we can also say, okay, let's take this one and this one and combine it together. And then let's see what we get. So what we can then do is type in a new prompt. All right, let's say something like um, against Spider-Man plays tennis. Uh, actually, I have no, uh, guy, uh, no idea here, guys. I, <laughs> I just improvised, so let's do this. But uh, as I said, it's, uh, it doesn't matter to show you the example. So maybe we can get something funny. Let's see. So we also say aspect ratio 69. Again, minus minus s ref. And this time we're taking two images. So let's drag this one first. And then hit space again and then drag in the other one. So this is also quite easy. So just drag in this one and we see, okay, we have two images now. And then to determine which one we want to have more actually, so that it doesn't match 50% uh, 50, 50 the one and 50% the other one, we can just go in between here and then actually type in um, two times the double points here and then the weighting which we want to have. So we can either decide this side or this side of the image. So uh, image two or image one. We decide now, okay, we want to have uh, image two more of an influence for this. So we say, I don't know, for example, three. And then we can just hit enter again and let Midjourney process. Let's see what we get. 
All right, and now we are done again. And uh, yeah, this is the result we got, which is also quite cool, I think. So we already see we get this nice uh, blue and orange that we had in the one picture, but also a little bit combined, I think, in the background with uh, what we had in the other shot. So you see, maybe uh, it didn't work perfectly regarding this image here to implement it more, but maybe you can find uh, better images for this example. So uh, let me know what you get. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to quickly share this with you because I think this is quite useful uh, when you're playing around with Midjourney and uh, want to create some mood boards or stuff like this. So yeah, let me know what you think and uh, see you the next time.